go. Well, here we are. Hello, IndieCade. How's everybody doing out there today? And um, hi, Marcy. And hi, Marcy's cat, Bento. Hello. Boy, <laughs> buddy, you heard that it was time to start being on television and you showed up just on cue, didn't you? Yeah, no. Okay, enough. I know you want to stream, but this is not about you. Yeah, okay, cool, great. Oh, man, that cat loves to be on TV. Uh, so <laughs> here we go. Um, hello, everybody, IndieCade. Welcome to uh, the IndieCade Summer Series. Uh, my name is Jesse V. Hill. And my name is Marcy Campos. And like uh, we mentioned before, this is Bento. Um, <laughs> there he is. Get another guest star in a bit later, yeah. Um, yeah, so we're probably going to be visited by um, at least one cat. Oh, hi, buddy. Oh, my goodness. Uh, how are you? How are you doing socially distancing, Bento? I guess you're getting actually more social distancing. Less, but yeah. <laughs> or, or, or yeah, you're getting more attention um, and less social distancing. Um, so today here on uh, the stream. Oh, yeah. So in chat, uh, by the way, they're saying that uh, when he goes into a package, he's a Bento box, Marcy. Yeah, that's that's the reason for his name. Uh, and I can actually see the chat, so we're good. Um, but yeah, what are we doing here today, Jesse? Uh, we are going to be playing uh, Natalie Lawhead's uh, game slash amazing piece of software called Electric Zine Maker, um, which we've got open right here. Um, and this is a really cool piece of um, like print and publishing software that lets you uh, make your own punk rock zines and then print them out, or like very a very cool way like distribute them. Uh, digitally, which is probably actually right now uh, the better way to get your zine out to people. Uh, I have like a very personal like story like while we're starting with this because when my my dad bought his first IBM PC, um, he brought home exactly two pieces of software, and one was a video game called Jet, um, because you could make a video game called Jet, and it was the only fly a fighter plane game that existed in the world. I mean, he also brought home a thing from Border Bun Software called the Print Shop because he'd also bought a dot matrix printer. Uh, and it was the thing that lets you make your own greeting cards or large banners or signs. It had a bunch of clip art in it. Um, and then a really weird thing happened because it was on an old floppy disk. And I had also received recently for a birthday present a like experiment with Science Pack that included several very powerful magnets. And one of them, for just a second, brushed the print shop diskette, uh, which destroyed part of the data on the disk, but the game still ran. It just corrupted about a third of the clip art. So we ended up like with all of these really grungy clip art things um, that like already on their own, like sort of like it was a way to sort of end up making your own like punk rock uh, stuff with this very clean, straight laced, like make software for uh your kid's bake sale or uh send a greeting card to your dad with a little dot matrix birthday cake on it except that the cake had been like corrupted by the devil so uh in a lot of ways like this is very exciting um because you can not only make these things but yeah you can print them out so we're gonna do that right yeah no um i'm very excited i was lucky enough to play this um last year um in paris at indicate paris and i had a blast so I'm excited to get my hands back on it again. Um, and yeah, we're both able to draw. I have um, chosen our topic. It's a very popular you know, video game right now. There's been a bit of controversy. Um, don't worry, no spoilers, but um, we're gonna be doing a zine about Animal Crossing. Um, big <laughs> okay, uh, cool. I have some big conspiracy theories about Animal Crossing that I want the public to know. Um, so yeah. Um, so yeah, let me just, just we can pop back. We're, we're going to do, what do you want? What page, what page do you want to do first, Jesse? Um, I don't think we should do the cover first. Um, so okay. I think we should just pick like a good page, like in the, in the meat of the thing. And then we'll do the, 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 the cover material like, uh, later. Once okay, we, well, let's... Cause it might change a little bit. Chat might have some suggestions. Chat yeah. is already actually yelling at us to put Hopkins in it. Do you have Hopkins on your island? Uh, no, <laughs> I know about the conspiracy about Hopkins, but I'm gonna, if we've got, if we've got time, we'll, we'll say, it. yeah, no, the rule is no Tom, no Kate, because like, he's like, obviously just a cover for what the really deep conspiracies are going on. Like everyone, everyone likes to rag on Tom, Nook, but I'm, I'm digging deeper. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. So like Tom, Nook, false flag. Hopkins, Hopkins is the Easter bunny, I think. Um, cause I didn't, I joined late. I tried to resist the siren call of animal crossing. Um, but <laughs> 
Um, but he was creepy. There's a lot to there's a lot to break down there. Um, we'll get into it. But first, um, I said, well, let's do the the inside front panel. And um, what I think we should do is load a picture first because I did a little homework last night. Nice. And, um, I made sure that when I got a picture when you visited my island a while back. Oh, so Hopkins is apparently the blue bunny villager who is a pool toy. Oh, no, I was thinking the other one with the one with the zipper. Um, shoot. Okay. Okay, no, I want to know about that zipper, but let's go on. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Um, so, yeah, I've got, like, I figured we should do the author's page. Um, oh, that's great. Uh, <laughs> who are those charming villagers hanging out on? We should always put things on an angle that makes it more seen. And then done. All right. So, um, oops. <laughs> so, Marty, you went to art school. You went to the Rhode Island School of Design. I did. I did. Uh, so I'm just going to ask, did you make a zine or were there like, I mean, were there was, were there zines on your campus? Um, yes, there were. Um, I actually, one of my favorite zines I ever got was right when the, um, the, uh, uh, um, uh, Bush Gore election happened and Bush won and we were all just devastated. Um, and thought the world was going to end. Um, <laughs> well, I, I was, I was, I was a little bit more calm about it. I was like, oh, it's, you know, it's probably going to be okay. It's just, but we were all very upset. So um, people made a zine. Someone made a zine about it, basically being like, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Um, you know, don't feel overwhelmed. And it was one of my favorite zines. And I actually reposted it on Facebook um, in the 2016 elections because it felt very similar. <laughs> <laughs> if only I had known. Um, so I'm going to sign my name, which is very presumptuous because we haven't made anything yet. But um, I'm Marcy, and I'm going to do a little arrow pointing up there. That one's me. Okay, and so then... theoretically, I sign this now too. Yeah, all right. Yeah. So um, I'm going to grab the pen. I'm going to change the color. <laughs> I guess I'll do black. Okay, yeah, so I'm now looking back at the chat. Yeah, it was Zipper T Bunny. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll get there. I've got some, I've got some stuff. I went, ooh. <laughs> no, all right, yeah, so there, here's this, uh, we have a little, uh, uh, zoom lag makes drawing hard uh, for me, but, so I think I'm gonna have to sign this the way that I used to, like, sign things in middle school when I thought I was being very cool. That seems appropriate. With the, oh, yeah, very cool. with the slashy s's did you ever do your name with like the two stussy s's like with the like the s that everyone drew oh the middle school s yeah uh no um I, no i didn't um that's see i think because i just didn't want to uh i didn't want to uh figure out what the rest of the alphabet looked like i couldn't figure out like <laughs> yeah that's fair it's a uniformity i was always really into fonts like even as a kid, I guess like it was very important to me. The I'm sure someone's done a full font set based around that S. Oh, see, there it goes again. Okay, so here's the thing: I can only do like very short. Okay. Yeah. Um, just... Deliberate yeah. sort of strokes. And this is this is the fault of Zoom, not of the software. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hey, though, but we did that, right? Like we actually managed to do this, yeah. like. Um, Halfway across Los Angeles from each other, we have drawn on the same page. Um, cool. Um, I'm going to do one cool thing, which I love about this, which is um, the pattern spray. I love making patterns. And um, thankfully, I am, once again, super prepared. Um, so I have oranges. Um, and then we can randomize the size and randomize the rotation. So since you, your island... Oh. You rem yes, yes, my island has oranges. Yeah, so there we go. There we go. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I deeply appreciate that. And then we're going to do um, uh, here, and then load an image. And we're going to do pears because um, my island has pears. Um, so yay! <laughs> 
Oh wow. Okay, hey, so like, that was that that actually looks stunningly good already, like for a right for a zine. Like th this looks very deliberate. <laughs> okay, so I feel like we. Oh, here. Um, let me do one last thing. Um, let me put blue back, and I'm gonna just put um, Anjou, which is my island's name. Um, because I was panicked when um, they uh, asked me to name my island, and I just named it by the fact that we had pairs, so Anjou pairs, um, which is extremely uncreative. And then, Jesse, do you want to put your island? Yeah, I'm going to do mine as text, mostly to show off the text feature, but also because Ooh, yes. I, my island has a longer name, and there's no way um, in heck that I'm going to be able to write that. So my island, um, I'm playing with my now five-year-old daughter, who is... Um, her name is Coraline, um, and that's going to just sort of come in hand. I, I, people should just know because it turns out that Coraline's a little spooky. Um, and I, we have no one to blame but ourselves for this. So Coraline uh, named the island, and she watched the sort of opening. She can't read, but I sort of told her what was going on. And so she named our island Wishfire. Um, all on her own. Yeah, um, and then grab it and move it. Yeah, I'm going to move it. Okay, so here's the thing about you, right? Like, you have, like, I'm in your computer looking at your fonts, and you have a lot because you yeah. do this for a living. That's fine. I think Wishfire is a very dignified sort of island. Um, and then I can move it. Yep. Yeah. I'll just put it over here by the oranges. I feel that looks good. Yeah. Cool. All right. Let's go on to our first conspiracy conspiracy theory. Um, all right, done. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's uh, let's see some uh, let's see some great. Yeah, Coraline. Um, people are saying that Wishfire is a good name. Coraline's really good at naming things in general, but also just a little bit spooky. Like this is my daughter, who when she was two or three, uh, no, I guess no younger than that, because she peered at me through her crib at one night as I was putting her to bed and said, "Daddy, Raggedy Andy's not like the others." Uh, <laughs> That's kind of creepy. And then rolled over and said, well, good night, daddy, and went to bed. So um, she's named a lot of things. Like we have a couple of like stuffed Ewoks from like Disneyland and like they have, you know, Ewok names or whatever. But she looked at one of them the other day and she like petted his little like muff. And then she looked at me and she said, his name is Wilson. And I said, Wilson? Wilson? And she said, no, daddy, Wilson. Um, so his name is Wosen now. So Chief Chirpa is now Wosen, um, and she's got some thoughts about all that. So she's a namer. Whoa. Um, so I yeah. Just looked back. What am I? <laughs> <laughs> Tripod. Um, yes. Yeah, so this is apparently a glitch that shows up. I think I'm gonna put it like right here. Um, that was just showing up in the skyline of some people's games. Um, some sort of like creepy thing in the distance. Um, which I'm kind of obsessed with. So we're going to change the background color. Which color? What do you want to do the color background? I think it was like even black. Yeah, you know, I think this is, I mean, this is some creepy, like, yeah, War of the Worlds when the tripods came kind of, yeah, not, we should be afraid of this. <laughs> um, and so here, uh, I thought we should, like, like it, you know, it's not like a proper conspiracy theory unless it's a bad photo photograph of something. Uh -huh. Yeah, no, you want to do like that. I want to believe Fox will uh, Fox Mulder sort of. Um... Yeah. Um. Let's try this. No. Let's maybe one. Well, it's not clear enough. Um. That's close. Let's do. Let's let's like let's dither this a little bit maybe. Okay. And then you can adjust all of these. I was playing with the dither stuff because I'm sort of obsessed with it. Like you can like lower the levels down a little bit. And you can get like closer to that, yeah. Yeah, I like that. Um, cool. So people are seeing this long-legged thing in the distance of their island. Yeah. Um, and so, uh, do you have any thoughts on what it might be? I mean, it's a. I mean, I'm gonna betray my age as a millennial, not a zoomer here, but I mean, it has a like. There are things like slender that are like taller and creepier like this has like a wendigo sort of like ancient giants sort of thing like when we were in ireland last year for uh electronic literature um organization like we saw like the giant steps and they told all these stories about um 
the giants of Ireland, like, and, you know, having these fights and casting these stones and doing these things. It seems like a long legged siren head that's that there you go uh, um siren head that's what we're that's what i was thinking of yes um and some of these like creepypasta things uh i'm gonna this is as controversial as this stream is gonna get some of these it, creepy pasta things are kind of kind of kind of kind of silly is it rude to say wake up sheeple in animal crossing only <laughs> if you because you're gonna offend the actual sheep on the island yeah, I, it doesn't seem right okay um <laughs> wake up we'll just put a lot of exclamation points um and then let's i think white and you need like a have you got like you know even just like a courier sort of font like this needs to just look like somebody banged this out on the community typewriter okay too too nice um <laughs> oh we've got the classic <laughs> <laughs> no okay so um my HOA has been threatening... Okay, that's getting better. My HOA here, these townhomes in Culver City, has been threatening to um, do a thing that they did a while ago and start a community newsletter back up. And I have other friends who are like in like Marina Del Rey who are in also these sort of HOAs, and they get these things from the old cranks of the neighborhood who are still like generating these newsletters. Like, the two squirrels are at it again. Or it's very similar to the like Hot Fuzz um crusty jugglers um so they i this is already starting to look like the community hoa newsletter um that i saw a friend of mine's um that, that showed up in, in her mailbox recently um well you could put this in everyone's mailbox you just moved into your new right no this is perfect yeah so maybe i'll just generate the community newsletter in uh electric zine maker it walks among uh, I, so I did prepare for this a little bit too. It's not for this page, but I think this definitely builds to something. But I have, mm -hmm. I have a very topical bit of um, Animal Crossing related conspiracy stuff to share. So when it's my turn for a page. Okay. Yes. No, I'll finish this page. I'm just, what I'm going to do is make a draw a pattern of this creepy little walking thing. Oh, that's rad. And then I'm going to use it as a spray because I just think this needs to be jazzed up a little. This is what they look like. <laughs> okay. Okay, so uh, they only visit some of the times and they only reveal themselves to certain people. Oh, shoot. Okay, yes. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, that's good. That's real good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, cool. A few more. <laughs> Just a few more. All right. Yeah. Are we good with this one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're good. Um, so for everybody who is just joining us once again, um, this is uh, we're playing with Electric Zine Maker. Um, Natalie Lawhead made this. It is um, actually available right now. So in fact, I've got a I've got a thing for it. Hang on. So you can actually. You can download um, Electric Zine Maker on Itch right now. This isn't even one of these uh, things where you got to wait. Um, whoops, sorry. I still had our Chirons up there when I did that. I'll fix that next time. But yeah, you can download Electric Zine Maker uh, today and uh, enjoy it. Um, and you should. Um, and in fact, uh, Natalie has said that if you tag them, and I'll, I'll just throw that up. Uh, I'll throw that up one more time here. Um if you tag them, they will um, they will make sure to retweet it. So if you make something in Electric Zine Maker and uh, and you, and you want to show it off, by all means, then um, then you can do that. Um, and and you'll get some you'll get some ups and you'll get some love. Okay, so um, in fact, in the yeah, are, is it time? Yeah, I was say like, why don't we? Um... Why don't we, instead of like uh, starting a page with you, why don't we show some zines that are like already fully made? Because um, there was a Indiecade um, zine fest or zine jam, zine jam, um, where they a whole bunch of people submitted really cool zines. We picked out a few. It was really hard to choose. Like they were all super cool. Um, but yeah, uh, let's do that. Okay, cool, great. So we're gonna take a zine break. Da -da 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 -da. Zine break. Da 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 da. -da. 
Um, and we're going to look at some of the, the zines that yeah, were made inside this HIO jam. So, um, what have we got here? Actually, let me, I think I screwed that up because I didn't, re I was already reading it. So, um, so this is a zine by Radically Different Games, um, and it's about uh, ancestors and like uh, how you connect and or don't connect with your ancestors. And I think this is a really cool. Like we, um, it is a queer family, right? Like yeah. So I, I, I finished a I finished, finished Bush Blues recently, and have been in my feels about family. Yeah. So I, I mean, and I already love how they got this, um, like, uh, statue head with the moss growing over it. And like bonus points for the uh, transparency erased in the background. Wow! <laughs> yeah, but it didn't work out, and they just used the eraser tool. I love it. Um, and so, yeah. Um, okay, this is so cool that it actually does simulated page turning. Yeah, no, I love this. I think it's a really great way to share it. And so, perspective queer writing with very little editing. Um, and it says, "What do I think of when I think about my ancestors?" And I just. Yeah, and I'll, I love how they use the stamp tool in the background too. I do too. All right, so as a like a stereo um, geek, like um, who does like a lot of three D stuff, like this is so cool because you know I don't know how it looks for some. Some of you can see this more uh, than other like human beings, but uh, that combination of red blue, like you know, actually makes the text float and the background sort of recede. Like this is so well done, um, and it looks cool um, on a on a screen. Okay, yeah. sorry, I'll stop geeking out because this is actually like a thoughtful zine. Um, what do I say to the faces that look down on me my whole life, who I feel no connection to? They are my ancestors in name, but not in feeling. I have the privilege to know their names, but they hold no bearing over me. Why? They drew this inside this program. This is <laughs> amazing. Um, yeah. And at the same time, uh, my mom's super into genealogy and she's been like tearing into this. And it's very interesting to kind of be like, at what level do you feel connected or not connected to people? Um, I can go searching, but for the words I find are left by no relation of mine. Um, could it be enough just to read what you have said? And I wonder if these are actually their um, family members. That would be really cool. Um, yeah. I think it will be. I like that one a lot. Um, but yeah. Uh, do we want to do one more? Yeah, let's do one more. Okay. Um, let's do something a little informative. How about um, how to intro to uh, Parser IF, so um, text adventures or interactive. What? This is so cool. So, yeah, this is by uh, Chelsea Stearns. And, yeah, let's take a look. So playing a text-only game is like reading a book. <laughs> the graphics are in here, baby. Um. The parser is the voice of the game. It narrates what's happening. Uh, so it's like, you find yourself at the scene of the crime. The glass case of once held a precious gem rolled has been smashed to bits and stands empty. Muddy footprints lead away from the North Wing. The museum director, Herbert, is here. He's looking pretty PO'd. Now what? You decide. The parser tells you what's happening, and you type in an action that you want to try. The parser does its best to do what you asked and tells you what happens next. An early text game, Colossal Cave, began with, I will be your eyes and hands. The parser is healed to help. Um, okay, this is such a great idea. Yeah, I love this as like a, as like a cool it's little... Like a, it's like advocacy. Like, hey, you can make games like this and this is how... Um, and, and, and this is how it... This is the theory behind them because it's so old. But also, like, it's still like really interesting and valid. Like, oh, instead of controllers, try typing actions. Yes. Um, I remember playing these games. Like I played a Nancy Drew game. I feel like that was like this. It was terrifying at the tender age of like I'm sure six or seven. I again, like my <laughs> parents were so desperate to not bring violence into the house. Like I didn't actually know like, it, except for Star Wars. Like you know, GI Joe was kind of like maybe we weren't going to do that. Like guns or any of those sorts of things. And so even like my father like regretted it. He thought that Jet, the game that I mentioned at the beginning. Um, and I think maybe there's a very slim possibility my parents are watching. Um, the uh, They thought that Jet um, was probably not a game where you were going to fly military vehicles and fire weapons. And I remember, like, having the joystick and firing, like, these little, like, two-pixel missiles and my mother being a little distressed. Um, and so, like, we got a texted, like, even text adventure games, some of them looked a little, 
like scary or sort of violent on the cover, but my father was a big Far Side fan, and so there's this very little known Infocom text adventure game called Nord and Bird couldn't make head or tail of it that was by like a Far Side knockoff. Um, mm-hmm. It had a Far Side sort of knockoff graphic on the cover, um, and I think the thought was that this was going to be like a Far Side game, and what it turned out to be is it's, it's, it's people should look this up. It's Infocom's like maybe least um, like interesting game. Um, uh, so, um, it, or at least known game, excuse me. Um, but it's all about turns of phrase. So everything that you do has like, there's a whole section of the game where the correct answers in interactive fiction are to make puns, um, or to make like sound alikes. So, um, huh. like, at one point to beat something, you actually like you, you're, it's too, it's too tall. You can't get up there. And all there is is this tiny little molehill in front of you. So if you type make mountain out of molehill, it turns the molehill into a mountain and then you can climb to the top. Oh, so this is like, it's just entirely like wordplay and pun based. Wordplay and pun based. And so now you know a little bit more about why I am the way that I am today. Video games do really did. did Video games did in fact like warp my brain, but. Um... Anyway. <laughs> Um, back to this, I think this is a really, just like super great quick breakdown on IF. Like, I love all this, it just breaks it down. And I love all these like little like swirly patterns in the back, it's really good. Um, all right, well, do you feel sufficiently inspired to make another page? I do feel inspired, so let's uh, let's get back to it. This has been, do, 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 do. this has been a zine break and we're gonna do more of them um, as we go. Um, okay, so here we are. Um, page two. Um, and just so you know, I can pull up an image if you need it. Um, oh, yeah, cool, great. Oh, is this my page? Your page. Oh, okay, cool, great. Um, well, I don't want to blow the doors off of... Uh, well, what page are we on? Two. We're on page two? You can go, I can go back to a... If you, you want to, like, go to page... Five. Yeah, like, like yeah, just jump me somewhere in the middle. Like, let's lay out a conspiracy or two. Like, I feel like we're making kind of like a five paragraph essay here. Okay. Um, so, so here's my here's my topical bit of news. Um, Nintendo is like took like sent takedown actions and like whacked some content out of a a a, a well known streamer who has been showing like glitches in Animal Crossing and sort of giving like a bunch of tutorials for how to glitch stuff. And Nintendo yeah. like came down like a hammer on this person yesterday um and I, I it prompted him i think to make like a very sort of tearful like personal plea to doug bowser to reinstate his account because it's all for love and all of these things things like how to like glitch the camera a little bit um or you know do um do some of these neat sort of tricks but um if i'm if i may put on my tinfoil hat for a second yeah he was probably getting too close to the truth okay yeah and I'm going to keep a bell spray pattern. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's good, right? Yes, because it's all, yeah, what are, like... If it was Nintendo, we know it's about the money. <laughs> they don't want you duplicating. They don't want you getting rich in game. They want all that money going to Tom Nook. I know we said we wouldn't mention him, but... <laughs> all right. I like the idea that we don't mention Tom Nook in the zine at all. <laughs> no. Okay, um, great. So this is my... So this is my spray. Yeah. And so you can just, so I would throw a couple bells down there as like a starting background. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Great. Hey, you know what? Like, let's, let's, let's make a, let's, let's really. Oh yeah. I love it. Let's vary that size a little bit. Let's have some variance in there. Um, I don't know if it'll, you I can don't change... know. Yeah. Let's find out. Let's find out. So nah. if you change the alpha, um, mm-hmm. you get some like more transparent ones. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, you might need to do that because uh, sometimes uh, Zoom's uh, legibility drops in and out for for me. So let's do like forty five. Like yeah, that's good. They don't look any less. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm gonna undo that last. That was that was too many bells. Okay. Okay. Uh, cool. Great. So now we're good there. Okay. All what right. else? You want to put a, maybe like a thing on the background? Oh, yeah, 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 you're right. Let's do that first. Um, what's the glitchiest thing that you've got? I would do, like, a green background. And then what, we'll, we'll pull a filter on it afterwards. Okay. So do, um, like, a color fill. Um, Bellionaire is a terrible pun, Willa. 
um, um i did actually teach marcy a little bit about the um about how um modern financial systems work um though like right like i i helped you uh, i helped you i helped you uh, corner the market on some bells yes you told me you taught me about turnip exchange and then um, like how to how to grow wealth with wealth i mean i think the interest rate in the the bank like all my villagers have been like very snidely pointing out that I bury my bells. They're like, "What's that? You digging bells? We have a bank." And I was like, "No, no. The, the the trees have a much better uh, interest rate um, yeah. than the." So, okay. No, I'm sorry. I was I was going to yeah, talk about economics. Sorry, we almost started talking about economics. Yeah. How dare you? But I want to talk about like fiscal policy and monetary policy, but like Animal Crossing has a different set of systems. So there's not like, so there is the interest rate, but I guess also there is the money supply, which yeah. is monetary policy. So the trees are the Fed. I have a tree. Do you want a tree? I do want a tree. Yes. Um, okay. Wait, this, remember, this is a conspiracy zine, not a. Oh, a you know what? I, you know what? This might actually require, um, this might requ this might require you to do a little bit of quick googling, unfortunately. But God, I wish we had a picture of either Doug Bowser or just Bowser. I will do just Bowser. I don't like putting. Yeah, yeah, and I agree. I I think that's better anyway because I think it's like you know, I don't I don't want to draw the I okay. don't want to draw the attention of I don't want to draw the attention of Doug. I like this. Here. What do you think? Like right here, a little bit. Yeah. Although something about it in the center has a very Illuminati feel to it. Like. Okay, we'll do that. Okay. Um, I'm gonna you you handle that. I'm gonna go find a picture that, of regular Bowser. Yeah, yeah, sure thing. Okay, great. So I'm gonna do some text now. Oh, I can't work when you're doing this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, that's fine. That's fine. When we take a zine break, um, when we take a zine break, maybe um, we can do some of that. Um, no, I can't. <laughs> we can oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna work with what we've got. I'll draw. Yeah, draw I'll, I'll I'll draw a weird little Bowser on the tree. Um, you might have to help. You might have to fix my work. Um, uh, the money tree must never be. Chopped. I'm gonna change our color to red, maybe orange. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Great. So I'm gonna place that, and I'm gonna do another one. I think this is good. Oh yeah. Here, hang on. The chat's mentioning the potato. Uh huh. Ooh. Oh yeah. Sure. Hang on. One second. Uh, okay. Let me. The chat is mentioning the potato. Um, I think if you click on it, something fun happens. Yeah. Yeah. Let's. Okay. Here, I'll do it. Are you clicking? Um, there's always, there's sometimes Zoom has a, you might need to do it. Okay. Give me mouse. You can have yeah. mouse. It says, oh my God, draw me. Yay. Okay, we'll put the potato in. <laughs> wow, we're, just, we're taking me. suggestions from chat. We're taking suggestions from potatoes. Yeah. Um, here, let's, let's 10. I feel like this is the color. I'll just put a little potato. Okay. Oh, he got weird. Why? Oh, because the alphas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I want to draw him buried in the ground. Um, oh, <laughs> undo. <laughs> um, you're doing great. You're doing great. Yeah, you can move the inner. Yeah, you can move the inner window around um, two feet. You can even. Um, you can even move it to a uh, your second monitor, more or less, um, if that's a uh, a mode of work that you enjoy. Um, so uh, while while Marty's while Marty's drawing, I'm gonna put up the uh, the download thing like one more time. Um, so yeah, you can get Electric Zine Maker on itch.io. Um, uh, Natalie Lawhead's account is Alien Melon, um, and uh, it is still in development so in addition to um all of the the cool things that you can do and you can publish it um a lot of this is still sort of in development so mess around with it i'm sure they would love to hear 
uh, your your use cases and what's working for you and uh, what isn't. But um, it's kind of a lot of fun. All right, I, because you you were chatting for a bit, mm -hmm. I got a present. A present. Oh, hey. Um. Oh, hey, look at that. Where do you want him? Like in the tree? Okay, I want him like, um, what can we, can we, can, yeah, can we, um, let me but, yeah, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe he's on the ground. Like I want him like with the money. Okay. And we still have the bell brush, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. I'm going to try to place one more bell in his little paw. Okay. Um, Actually, what I would love, this is very, like, my personal sort of aesthetic. I would love the ability to um, dither just certain elements instead of, like, the whole page. You're getting too fancy. I know, I know, I know. I'm just telling Natalie in case they're well, watching. Um, um, we can dither the background down. I don't have to put Bowser. We can put Bowser in on top. You want to do that? Oh, that's right. No, yeah, that's a... No, you know what? Let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. All right. So we're gonna do the background, then we'll put Bowser on top. I love the idea that like there's like you know to do that like sort of photo cut. Oh, that's actually very good. Right. I'm feeling that. That's very good. And then him in color in the front, or him with a different yeah. Uh huh. Because okay. that gets to that we xeroxed it and then we pasted something on it and we xeroxed it again kind of feel. That's very right. zany. I don't want that as a pen texture. Oops. Um. Uh, image, image import. There we go. Mm -hmm. Cool, cool, now, cool. Potato. Um, let's make it a little bit bigger, right? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like that's that's good. <laughs> um. All right. So I want to add a little bit more text because I I really want to like. Yeah. Get my message out to the people. And then we'll do another zine break after this, huh? Uh huh. Uh. I did watch a YouTube video explaining some of the duplication things. I never do it. I didn't do it, but watch it there we go uh hold on wait let's make this red um oh i like that yeah 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 <laughs> all right hey, i'm gonna do one more i'm gonna do one more i i, I, I wanna i'm 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 inspired now because um i like a little topography here oh i like it yeah 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 nice Okay, so this is a very good page. Yeah. <laughs> Your page is a very good page. All right. Are we good? Yes. This is our page. Our page. This is my it's this is my contribution to the the conspiracy thing. This is I, I this is the this is the homework um, right. that we did. Oh, um, hey guys, Sean's here. Is it Sean? Yes, our frequent collaborator um, Sean Bloom has arrived in chat and. Uh, it is my custom, were we all in person, to um, say, hey guys, Sean's here. So I got to do it. And now it feels like we're all together. Um, cool. All right. Uh, do you want to do another zine break? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do another zine break. Hold on. Wait. Do, 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 zine break. Uh, uh, um, zine break, zine break, zine break. So uh, the zine jam ended last night. I think there were like 27 zines generated over a couple of days. Um, uh, yeah. So let's look at this one. Game zine, five highlights from the bundle for racial justice and equality. Yes, which I hope everyone picked up because it was a good cause and a good deal. Um, and so many games yes so many games that yeah how are you gonna find anything so this is good i've actually been in entire like slack and discord threads with people who have been just sort of coming through it being like here's what i found i know also i love i just i just 
I'm an envious all of all this like beautiful glitchy art. I'm like, how do they do it? Like, I'm just not good enough yet. Let's get there. Um, click, 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 click. All right. Things in the scene. Oh, a table of contents. How oh, classic. That's really good. That's much better than just the author page that we egotistically threw down. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, croissants, um, Astro Glider, um, a completely normal dating simulation that is definitely completely sweet. And is it a normal educated educated child games itch you? <laughs> normal dating sim. Um, three. Uh, four is Overland. Five is Highway Blossoms. And six, Desktop Goose. All right. Um, so yeah, let's jump to croissant. Yeah. Uh, production line simulator. Appealing hungry challenge difficulty two out of five. Oh, oh I like the feeling thing. That's good. Yeah. It's 10 to 15 minutes to say the story mode. Um, you will want croissants. Yeah. I, <laughs> I already do. I already do. Like, were we in person? Like now is about no, we're about half past or about half an hour past when we decide that it's time to stop working and go get a croissant. Yeah, the the come into late work, sit down, put your bag down, and be like, well, now it's time to walk to Starbucks. <laughs> oh, I miss that. Our bosses and colleagues might be watching. Um, yeah, it's okay. so, that, so these are jokes. <laughs> it's a total joke. We don't see that. Um, nobody goes to Starbucks now. This looks cool. I I am I love crazy simulation games. Um, Ash Butter, I actually played a bit of this at, at a GDC. Yeah, you and I did, um, like, yeah, two years ago, um, at, um, Indie Mega Booth. Was it Indie Mega? Yeah, um, which we just said on the Indicate stream. Cheers, everybody. Um. <laughs> kill us. Um, yeah, no, uh, Astro Glider. Uh, this one's really cool. It's, like, you're essentially, like, a quack Elizabethan doctor who's, like, recommending, like, not only, like, medical cures, but, um, yeah, it's like astrology to tell patients what to do. Um, it's really cool. Um, and it's very funny. And the art is gorgeous. I yeah. Remember. So now I have it. Score. <laughs> Didn't even know that. Um, oh, and oh, oh, so the front cover is the art from the, the, the third game, which is a completely normal dating simulation that is definitely completely sweet and sweet, innocent and normal. I don't trust any of that. Um, parody dating sim with the stick figure ms um it's got a shark in it which is really exciting there aren't many choices but it's the point of the parody um it sounds like it's a really good like just kind of fun one-off also waiting the dlc so i can date a random civilian me too like <laughs> 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 that npc is not romanceful and you're just like <sighs> Let me date Vera, you bastards. Um, yeah. Apparently, Astrologaster has funny songs, um, which we didn't hear because um, I think the game was still in development. But no. um, um, Overland. Overland. Uh, Overland is out. Yes, and it was part of the bundle. Um, turn-based survival. If you don't have quick reactions like me, same, same. Uh, <laughs> it's actually what stressed me out about like I was like zombie survival. I was like no. Uh, yeah, that looks fun. My first game ended in tragedy. Talked to, talked to Fisherman Dave, lost his quiet companion, Ina, to an unexpected attack and succumbed to the spike monsters in a single move from safety. Highly recommended and very atmospheric. Cool. I uh, love how they got yeah, I was about to say, the, the zine layout is atmospheric as well. I like how they're theming each page. Ooh, a visual romance novel. So this is Highway Blossoms uh, on a road trip to New Mexico. This is where Jesse's from. Um... An absent-minded hitchhiker and set out a, to find hidden treasure in the desert. Which oh, that is actually sounds cool. Than what happens usually when you pick up a hitchhiker in a lot of media. <laughs> um, oh, there's voice acting. All right, I want to play this. Let's yeah. uh, let's put this on the list, okay? You and I were talking about streaming some more romance games, so let's put this yeah. on the list. A uh, lovely soundtrack. Wow, yeah, no, absolutely. And um, Goose is stolen the face. <laughs> <laughs> I downloaded Desktop Goose. It is a delight. Um, it's just like having a friend with you all day who's just fucking with your desktop. Um, it's really, it's a really good game. Marty, um, I find I, it highly implausible that you just you, you downloaded a virtual bird um, to hang out with you and be your friend. 
the dev has a cool one called like desktop meadow which has like it grows grass on your browser and like letters show up in a mailbox but last time i checked it was only for windows um but desktop booth is available for both and it's it is like not necessarily perhaps a game but definitely a very fun little interactive thing to have cool um do we want to do another one yeah let's do another one let's do another one let's do um this old lady oh shoot did we not say who made um oh we didn't do it for game scene i don't know if we did yeah let's give some credit out yeah sorry weird banana our bad good job thank you for your rex yeah that was a service you provided <laughs> um, um you could actually probably publish that zine for the rest of your life uh five at a time and um i would subscribe Okay, um, this old lady. I read the description for this one last night, and I was fascinated by it. So I think I like very aggressively lobbied for us to look at it on the stream. Yeah. So I found a box of pictures in my street. They all tell fragments of an old lady's life that was once young. Original pictures were taken from 1929 to 1936. So they just found a box of photos from 1929 to 1936 in the street, and then made a zine about like who is this person and what happened. This is the last one was by Weird Banana. This is by Lisa Banana. So our banana, 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 banana. Was unknown at the time when we picked these. Um, but yeah, and I love the they they use the um, smudge tool, which is a tool I can never make anything look good with, and this looks lovely. So, um, yeah. And so we have like a bit of French in here as well. But I love there's also the there's also cheat codes or <laughs> coded hieroglyphs yeah no i love how like, there's a lot of, to break down here um i like right here in the text you show she had a, a big family and we see this like kind of like really stretched out beautiful dinner gathering which i don't know how she got the effect but it looks really cool yeah um to be subversive but just enough socialist not an anarchist of course she married a thinker, so I guess this might be her husband. And I love like the overlay of the book. Uh huh. She it was from Birds of the Troubles. I guess it's like a beach picture with a bunch of little fish underneath. I love like this is like a lot of layers of detail. Mm -hmm. Her name on the marble. This old lady had a marvelous life. One day she had her sunset. And one day these fragments found their way to your eyes. That's pretty great. That's really great. That's beautiful. I, to be so lucky to have your life found by somebody else and celebrated in art like that. That's really cool. No, and shout out to the person who made this for not doing the trash troll thing and making up a bunch of garbage but actually like doing something kind of kind of thoughtful and celebratory with it instead of just like especially from the title right like who is this old lady but yeah it, i mean i'm i'm heart warmed that this one is actually really sweet and beautiful and not i don't know just mean no definitely not lovely in general though i mean i expect that the indicate the indicate indicate community is not mean uh it's wonderful here so cool. y'all are the best um we should get working on our zine yeah let's get back to it let's get back to let's get back, yeah because now now the bar has been set pretty darn high yeah <laughs> all right let's get cool. back to this thing where we pasted bowser into something and patted ourselves on the back for it uh, <laughs> okay um let's do page two yes all right so tell me another conspiracy theory um okay so let me, what do I want? Okay, I want, I want to talk about a, a character that sometimes shows up. Um, so this guy, the Wisp. Uh-huh, okay. So I saw this character on the first day that we had Animal Crossing, um, but I didn't have the pole yet, and so he was floating around taunting me um, somewhere that I couldn't reach. Um, and uh, Coraline was just like, I want to go see the ghost and be friends. 
Um, well, he supposedly is very friendly, but he looks approachable. Okay. But what, what have you heard? But well, what's the truth? Okay, so ooh, I'm gonna erase this background. Um, so here's the thing. He shows up and you scare him and he's like, oh, you scared me. Like, I thought you were a ghost. And you're like, that's funny because you're the ghost. Mm -hmm. um, and then like, essentially he's like, I, five, my, like five pieces of wisp have left me. Can you go get them? And he like turns into like a, just a little flame. And he's like, go get the other pieces of me and then bring them back to me so I can like reconstitute. And he's like, it's like this like totally friendly thing. And then he usually gets you something like, he's like, oh, I'll send you something in the mail, like a nice, you want something nice or do you, or do you want something you haven't, don't have mm -hmm. yet? Or do you want something expensive, which I always think is like such a dangerous question. Oh it's yeah. Kind of like a, you know, it's like a fairy tale question. Like if you say the wrong thing, they're, it's just gonna mess you up. So, but here's the thing, like what are those five pieces? Um, right. So I haven't done this because I haven't, I actually have not seen this boy since uh, the I, first day. I think, I think this is some sort of demon that has collected five like trapped souls, and when you spook him, they like they escape for a second, and he's like, "Go collect them back." Like they 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 don't want to be in him. Uh -huh. Like I think there's something I think there's something really shady about what those things are. Um, I think they're they're perhaps like animals who've walked too far into the woods. Um, you did a beautiful job of erasing that background while talking. Um, so let's make it nighttime. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. So what? in general, Indicate has, or I'm sorry, not Indicate, Animal Crossing has like a couple of these things, especially like at the beginning, like if you if you can't get to the stuff where like, I mean, when I saw the Wisp, um, it had a very like Wasco clown sort of like like vibe to the whole thing because there was just this ghost that i couldn't talk to so i couldn't hear if he was friendly or what his deal was but there was just like over there in the corner like this raccoon has just persuaded me to part with all of my worldly goods to move to a deserted island with him and then build all of the structures for him and then now i'm seeing that this like tropical getaway is like haunted but in a way where it's just like there's these things that just sort of hang out and i find like I don't know because of because of my like quarantine sort of situation um, and you know having a, having a little one. Uh, I am in Animal Crossing at night a lot when there's not a lot going on and not a lot of my friends are even around. So I am alone on this island a lot, and I keep see like people just keep walking around and I'm like, how did you get here? What's going on? Um, and I really am afraid that one of these days I'm going to walk up to one of these things and uh, it's not going to say anything back. It's just going to stare at me. Um, yeah. So at one point when I was trying to get my five star island rating. Um... <laughs> Sorry, I'm, these little wisp faces are. <laughs> um Oh, our mod informs us that um, the ma the something you don't have is worth maximum fifteen hundred bells, and something expensive is uh, ten thousand bells. <laughs> well, good to know. Um, that seems like you should always choose something expensive. That's what I do because. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, but one time I was turning my five star island rating, and Isabella was like. The, there are too many trees on your island. Some people think it's spooky. And I'm like, what happens? I mean, and to be fair, I do have a murder forest on my island. Mm -hmm. um, but I was really upset that Isabel wanted me to cut down trees. But maybe it's because if there's the tree cover is too thick, the wisp gets you. Um, oh, unrelated. But today I learned someone, if you bring a lost item to Blathers, he will tell you who owns it. Oh, no way! Thank you. Thank you. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you on that one. Yeah, that's... Actually, here, let's go back. Um, so why is Blathers afraid of bugs? Oh, I don't know. Something tragic. Um, though I always make him tell me about the bugs. <laughs> like, oh, like, yeah, no, me too. Like, for time, I'm like, you gotta tell me about these bugs. 
I did uh. a horrible thing where I had been, for, I just, money trees kept wanting to be planted right in front of the museum, and it was starting to get to the point where I couldn't see the museum anymore. So I cut some of them down, but like a jerk, I left the stumps, and I realized that what I had done is basically made this colonnade of play or where of like bug hotels that blathers probably had to walk to walk past on his way into work every day and i felt legitimately like a terrible person okay and then we're just gonna oh um marcy we're just gonna yeah. can i fix i'm gonna hop in here oh this is so exciting i'm gonna fix your uh i'm gonna fix oh. your i'm gonna fix your grammar Okay. I just want the cred. I want the credibility. <laughs> the spelling mistakes are part of zines. I know, but I want our conspiracies to be taken seriously, and I don't want them to be debunked by people who are like, use the possessive. If looking at online conspiracies have taught me anything, is that typos are um, an important part of it. So I'm new to Animal Crossing. Uh, TV. There was was there a there was a barista. There was a coffee shop in previous in previous crossings. Yeah, apparently. Yeah, I'm also new to Animal Crossing. So actually, I kind of like this. All right. Yeah. How do we feel about this? Oh, that's good. And then actually, hang on. I got one more thing. There we go. So things that I, if I were to like actually get like full um, nut bunnies murder board about it, um, would be tracking like campers, like when campers appear, when they vanish, and then all of a sudden now Wisp appears and needs souls, like is there like a set amount of time or something like to sort of draw these lines between like, oh, if I don't accept a camper to my island, uh, is, there a, is there a Wisp a day later with soul fragments? Ooh, ooh, okay. Ooh. Um, so... I, I make horror movies sometimes. <laughs> um... So the other thing I wanted to talk about, I'm gonna let you do most of the page on this one because I feel like it's your thing. But okay. I'm I'm scared. This is, this is real. Uh huh. No. Oh wait, does Animal Crossing have like a channel zero? Okay, so if you um, it's like three thirty three a.m. on a Sunday, and if you have a television. This whole little, like, it'll glitch out and then aliens will show up. Um, so I'm gonna leave this one to you. Like, this is, and then they just, they're like, they're sending you a message. But I do, I do wanna give you one thing. Like, we also have to consider where do the presents come from? And I think it's aliens. Okay, so we have a page after this one, right? No, I was, I'm gonna say you could do, because I am, I am, I am on top of it. Give you a present spray. I, I'm I'm part of this, or unless you've got a better better theory, like I'm I'm willing to listen. I feel like the well, I mean, yeah, okay, okay, all right. So, um, so first of all, all right, so we're gonna do a couple of things. I like this present spray, but um, here, hold on, I'm gonna put one of them. Well, you could probably add on top of it the image. Can you do that? That'd be cool. Like add what? What like? Can you like if can you draw something in the present? Oh, hey, here. Actually, you know what? Let's try something a little bit different. You have that Wait. image, right? Which image? Um, let, let's make it a spray. Okay, but the present? One of these, right? We'll just take it as an outline. Oh, I don't know. Me? I haven't... I think, that's, I think that's just like a spray can. It's going to be like a... Oh, but can I make a custom pen or can I make a... Yeah, you can do um, load images pen texture. Yeah, like, let's try that. Let's try that. You want the present? Yeah, I want the present. Which is yours. Cool. All right, so. You might want to make the size of the pen bigger. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. And remember, wherever you started, it starts, that's where it starts. The... Oh, that's right. This is the thing where it sort of like slowly reveals it. Yeah. Okay, cool. Great, great, great. Um, I do want that, um, but kind of like here, maybe sketchy in the corner. 
Ooh. Oh, okay, that's too big. So, well, then change your pen size. Yep, exactly. The, the image is always going to be the same size, so that's just that's just it's not that's fine. Know. No, I, yeah, I, I just wanted a little scratchier. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, I really like that. It's like, ooh, what is, what is hidden behind yeah. it? I like it. Cool, cool, cool. Maybe I don't know. This might be a mistake. No, no, hold on, wait. Let me let me dial let me dial let me dial smudge down. Does it erase? Let me have a no, it doesn't probably let me have an alpha? No. Okay. That's all right. This isn't Photoshop. I know. I'm just. I'm. I'm. I'm just testing the limits. I'm inspired. Embrace the chaos. Yeah. Just sort of like throw it out a little bit there. <laughs> eh. Let's zip it back. Okay. Um. Okay. So now I'm gonna again. Like I mean. No, do a background color first. Background color. Okay. 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 I'm such a backseat you're like, hey, you're, this is your page. This is your page. Make it. No, because I already had a page. Just pick a background. No, that's what I'm, I'm, I'm parroting you where you're like, this is your page. Do it. Do whatever you want. But also definitely do what I want you to do. Well, you just, otherwise, it's a back. I don't, otherwise, it's going to be harder to do a color. Um, okay, cool. You're at school. That's all, you know. No, it's fine. I defer. I defer to your hair. Yeah, okay, cool. I like it, I like it, I like it. Yeah. It's okay. just reverting to black for all my pages because I think it's spooky. Well, yeah, yeah. I just figured, like, you know, and I'm trying to, like, call, you know, palette match the, the main graphic here a little bit. Sorry, someone in chat just shouted out the RISD mascot, which I'm a, I'm afraid to talk about online. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But if you're, if you're in a safe place where no one's going to look over your shoulder, yes, uh, go dads. <laughs> Chat the character out of that. Um, and then you went to USC. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, you know, Santa Cruz always uh, people yeah. like Santa Cruz grads always throw down that they like we have the weirdest mascot. Ours is banana slugs, and I'm like, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, on school design. We'll just leave it there. Okay, so now now am I free to type, type, type? Am I free to type? Okay, cool, great. Um. Okay, so I'm going to do a couple of things. The first thing is I'm going to shout out to the old X-Files fans, and I'm going to hide a 1013 um, in, the, in the image a little bit here, if I can get the color just right. Um, That's pretty good. And you could put it down below in the carpet? Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah, that's good shit. All right, so here, we're going to put it over here, and we're going to make it darker. Don't worry. Well, also remember, we're going to print this, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, hold on. Wait, there we go. A little bit, a little bit. We want people to appreciate our work. Okay. So, um, yeah, so we've now hidden a, um, we've now hidden an X-Files dog whistle uh, in the image, so I feel good about that. Oh, whoops. Hold on, wait. I got I was I accidentally almost undid my own good work. And then yeah, I hit done. I got to go back. I'm just so excited to add all kinds of text to this thing now. Okay. <laughs> it speaks to you as a writer. You're like text text text. text. <laughs> well, you know, this is a publication. Yeah, okay, great. All right, so here. All right, so my um what do I want to put here? Um Well, all right, so I mean, all right, so is the rule that we don't say the word nook at all? Yeah. Um, okay. Um, oh, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I, have, I'm, I might be too good at actual conspiracy theories. Oh. Um, so I find it weird that 
Isabel constantly wants to talk to me about like what she watched on television late at night. But then it's like, oh, but silly me, like you probably don't want to hear about my television habits. Oh my God, you blew the case wide open. Yeah, I know. Isabel's in on it. Uh Uh-huh. You're right. She always talks about TV. Uh Uh-huh. Oh my gosh. (laughs) Now, is it Isabel or Isabella? I... Isabel. I think it is, yeah. I want to get it right. Bad Animal Crossing fans. <laughs> well, was I just you? had a moment where I was just like... Wasn't it you who just was just like... Uh, <laughs> um, realized her name's a pun on bells? Look, I very recently came to learn that lots of Animal Crossing names are bad puns. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And yeah, her head looks like a, a bag of bells. It's true. Thanks, Willa. Um. Yeah. Okay. So, what lurks on channel is a bell. Um. And then it's it's three 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 like three thirty um three a.m. So if you want to like play around with that, get your number conspiracy on. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, I like that theory. I like that theory, chat. Whoops. The her wanting to fight and smash. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to do a little bit more here. Oops. Yeah, that's pretty good. I like that, actually. Um, that was a mistake, but I like it. Um. What is it? Um, what's it like? Was it beware uh, Trojans bearing or bear, beware? Like, what's the thing about like something bearing people who oh, have gifts? Bearing gifts, yeah. I mean, I think it's uh, yeah, tro- I mean, it, it, I think it's Trojans. No, I don't know. Um, it's not the Trojan horse. It's like the yeah. Okay. Bearing gifts. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, you know, let me make that one smaller and a different font because we're like that. Um, I I I know that I messed this up. Um, I'm gonna, but I I want to get the placement of this right first. Okay, so I'm gonna do that one done, and then I'm gonna go back, and I'm, I actually want the shoes trying to tell us something to be a different color and a different font. Cracking it wide open. Oops. Yeah, now he's still checked. You didn't even give me a chance. I was already on it. No, busted it. Got it first. Oh, is that, is that how this works? This is typoed. <laughs> typoed. Uh, God. You have a lot of fonts. I like fonts. No, I it's like, good. Chalkboard is good. Chalkboard is good. Oh, normally it's good. <laughs> it's, no, 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 it's not. It's not. It's, it's not good. You got. You're hitting the wrong spot. There you go. Cracked. Or it's. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Um. Let's do like a bright pink. Yeah, I like that one. Put it on the image. I mean, or put it wherever you want. I'm not. I think I color matched that pretty good, right? Yeah. I'll put it on the image. On the image? Okay. Cool. Can we put a filter on there? Yeah, gently. Let's see what we got. Um, I, I've, I've got really clear... Um, Down on this ball. Let's go. What? There's more? Shit! Oh no! <laughs> I totally missed it. There's there's nothing past that. Oh no, there is. What? No! I 
right. Oh my god, we missed so much potential. No, nope, there's still time. There's still time. Do like a balloon. Sorry, you do whatever you want. Okay. <laughs> um, a balloon, huh? I think I can draw a balloon. Hold on, wait. That's just creepy. <laughs> uh, here, let's do it a little smaller. I'm. Mm, no. No, I was just trying out the new brush. Um. Scream into the void. Whatever that is, do it. Offer your artwork to the void here. This tool is free. Are you haunted by your own genius? Perhaps tormented by the pursuit for pure artistic authenticity? Maybe more. Well, scream into the void. I don't want to mess this up just yet. Yeah. <laughs> okay, maybe not. I worry that, like, oh, my goodness. Do eggs. All right, but I think it's, oh, we have to choose round egg, good egg, cubed egg, messy egg, eggnog, chaos egg. Chaos egg. So, like, two colors. I think those, I like those colors. Okay. Oh, it's chaos egg. I want the chaos egg to be. I guess it should be green. What's happening? No, no. Yeah, let's tap, tap it once. Yeah. You kind of have to hold it. Here, let me. Maybe a different page. Let's let's ex we're we're so close. This is such a good page. Yeah. All right. All right. Um. Oh man, you can make a goldfish. You can make a gift brush. Whoa, we were really just like. We limited ourselves so much. We were just barely. Didn't even see those arrows. That. Well, I was looking for the. I was looking for the. Um, here, I like. Let me try low ink. I just really want to try it. Oh, it's Greek sparing gifts. Thank you, chat. But <sighs> well, that works. Oh, um, okay. Hold on. But, no. <laughs> I just want it smaller. I just want it smaller. That looks special. Okay, look, art school, you fix it. Thank you. First off, white. Hang on. Oh, you know what? I think I get the egg. Because I saw that the graphic, in a very cool way, like, thumbs up, Natalie, the, um, the egg yolk changed color when I made it um, blue. Um, and all of a sudden we were looking at a white egg with a, I think what it does is it generates something with, um, one color on the inside and one color on the outside. Hang on, I want to do something really dumb. <clears throat> you see what I'm saying here? Mmm, yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, good page. Good page. Good page. We are terrible at this compared to the people who are um, in the actual jam. But we're having some fun. Okay, no, but now you've ruined all my good words. Okay. Just a little. No, you're right. You're right. Right. Well, just leave it alone. Sample. All right. New page. New page. Okay. Um. Do we want to do one uh, zine break? Yeah, let's do two things. First of all, um, if you have we haven't we haven't done this in a little bit, so um, one more time. Yes, if you've been watching and you're wondering what the heck is going on, we're playing Electric Zine Maker uh, by Natalie Lawhead, who goes by Alien Melon. Um, it's part of the Indicade Summer Series. We're streaming um, all. Indicade is actually going to be doing this all summer long on Wednesdays and Sundays, and so if you tune in at this time, um, eleven. Pacific to Eastern uh, for about two hours every Wednesday, and I think they're doing it also on Sundays. Uh, you will see Indicate alums, other streamers playing cool games, um, celebrating some interesting stuff as we get closer, closer, closer to the festival. So here is your um, quick break 
um, while we talk about, um, here, let's do this. Um, IndieCade is online this year. Um, so we're calling it IndieCade Anywhere and Everywhere. It is going to be um, a week, October 26th to the 24th, actually more than a week. Um, and it's going to be literally ev- anywhere. Like there's a on the web, on Twitter, on Instagram, on Twitch, um, playing stuff and celebrating some of the amazing things that people have been making um, here. Uh, you know, g- this at least is still going to go on. And I think that that's like pretty, pretty amazing. So it'll be nine full days of 24 hour programming, they say. Um so uh, do tune in. Um, I think late submissions might have just closed last night, according to their Twitter. Um, but it is going to be a lot of fun. And I'm sure that like this would be a great place to sort of uh, check in on all of that stuff sort of going forward. A um, lot of good games. A lot of really good games. Okay, so there. That's the, uh, the station identifier. Um, thanks for hanging out with us. Um, and uh, should we do a zine break? Is that what we want to do next? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. We won't. We won't even do the graphic because we're already up. Okay. So how Sorry. do you pronounce this? Dugongs. Dugong. I don't know. I, I. It looks like a manatee, but I think it's a different thing. <laughs> but I am excited to do this one. So we switched over to some of them. Only are available on PDF. So we're going to be looking at some PDFs. Um, but yeah, this one's. I don't. This one is just really great pictures. <laughs> oh, oh the baby <laughs> oh the baby um so this is just this is just zoo books yeah um, <laughs> if you are from a certain era dugong thank you thank Dugongs. you gongs um and i think like so people are talking about like so a manatee is a sea cow but i've also heard people talk about like sea pigs or something is that a dugong dugong Oh, look at this face. This is a very handsome face. Oh, that's that's good. Also, I I, I just want to go back to like the lettuce. Yeah, um, that's solid. Yeah, and oh, it's that's so good. That's that's um, I want that one as a coworker because like yeah, whatever can... whatever like stuff goes down, then oh oh look at this attribution. I love it. This is good. This is quality. Nice. All right. Um, I would have liked to know a fact, but if I would have improved it one way, it might even have just been the helpful um, pronunciation. Dugongs. But I like it. Presented without commentary is also good, like a nature documentary. Um, all right. And then let's do This Cat Has Many Bones. So I think this this person submitted two, um, but we're, I, I got entranced by the cat title. So um Look at this. This, is good this cat, cat has many bones. Before we jump into cats, chat has shared an important fact. Um, the dugong is a medium-sized marine mammal. It's one of four living species of the order Sirenia, which also includes three species of manatees. So we actually named that whole class of vaguely human-looking um, things that fooled horny sailors um, Sirenia. Which is some solid work, scientists. Uh, good job, scientists with um, a liberal arts background. <laughs> um, okay, now this cat has many bones. Okay, let me just zoom out a little. So, oh, um, I think my colleagues. Uh, yes, colleagues. All right. Um, it may look normal at first glance. An old house cat, not worth your time. That background is. Oh, it's a very like hungry, hungry caterpillar, <clears throat> or a very hungry caterpillar sort of Eric Carl. But look closer, and you will find an endless mass of infinite bones, as much or as little as it likes, and thin anamorphous flesh, always changing to accommodate its ever shifting form. <laughs> okay, so I mean, I, our family cat did need an X-ray at one point, and we did see it, and it was terrifying. Uh, that was an incredible number of bones. Um, my cousin, um, when his cat died, had uh, the cat skeleton articulated. So, so you've you've experienced this, okay? Yeah, no, that is a shocking number of bones. I also learned this. This is a human fact. 
um, which I guess maybe is also a cat fact. Um, the number of bones in your body is what? Like um, you have a certain number of you you have a certain number of bones in your feet. In particular, the feet is where the number gets kind of squishy. Um, some people have more bones in their feet than other people. Some people have a lot more bones in their feet than other people. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> um, maybe you'll be scared, but just cat. It eats what it needs to survive, which certainly isn't you, and simply lives. It's something you can't know. It's something you couldn't possibly understand. It's been alive for a million years and will be alive for a million more. It's something so powerful, so confusing. People stay away because they can't comprehend it. I feel like Bento is missing his cue. I know, it's okay. It's actually, this is more about Tifa than Bento. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, our other cat's name is Tifa and she's a bit more mysterious. Look at this guy oh, though. Subtle. But... Aww. That's what real cat ownership is all about. <laughs> it's just accepting you can't fathom the mystery that is that creature. Uh, I love that one. Wow. Okay, so the, oh, the art is very, very good. I oh, love uh, these backgrounds. Yeah. No, I love them too. Maybe they are using these brushes that we just discovered. Yeah, probably. All right, cool. Do we want to pop back? Yeah, let's hop back. We got some work to do. We got 40 minutes left on this stream and we've got empty pages still. Mm -hmm. All right, we good? Yeah, we good. We good. All right. Well, to be fair, here's the crazy thing. We only have the front, the back, and the last page. Okay, so we've only got one more conspiracy theory and then... Yeah, I'm gonna... Oh, oh, but I'm gonna blow the doors off. Okay. You ready? Yeah, you know, hit me, hit me, hit me. You did, you did the homework, you did the research. Um... I'm going to talk about the real scary stuff right now. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, did somebody sneak into your computer and disable that image? Oh, my God. Well, it's a PNG, so that might be it. But it's the happy home people. We don't need oh. an image. No, we uh, can make that up. We can make that up. I actually like the idea of being very, like, treating happy home like QAnon. <laughs> oh, no. But um, what is a glass stamp? Oh, okay. Chat says it doesn't like .jpeg, but it will accept .jpg. Discovered oh. at my own cost. So you might be able to quietly rename that and see if you can trick it. All right, let me try that really fast. Uh. Glass stamps looks amazing, though. There's a, that interface is amazing. Yeah, I'm. I'm curious. Oh, I think you can make like cool beads. Let's find out. Um, this is the kind of programming that I know I will never do in my life because this is a kind of math that I definitely dropped out of. Um, except, no. Glass stamps works best on pictures as it distorts the image below it. Okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, well, let's try it one more time. I, I changed it, but we'll see if it if it worked. It worked. All right, boom. Uh, nice, nice, nice. This is this is this is the real people. They come into your home Heck in yeah. the night and get and 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 grade you on how you live. I mean. What is going on with that? And like, and all the villagers are kind of terrified. They're like, hey, did you get your grade? Like, what does it mean? And then you're like, you're awarded plaques, like, like a uh -huh. status, like who has the best house. Like, it's just, it's like, it feels like it's an HOA gone nuts. So I actually gave Renee my plaque the other day. Just, yeah. oh, I, how ac I accidentally, I was trying to like find a lost item and I didn't, and I thought it was in my inventory and it wasn't. And so then she was like, oh, you have something for me? And she was all excited and I didn't have much in my inventory. And so I was like, <laughs> yes, this plaque that I meant to give you all along. Right. Um, and I fully expect to be um, <laughs> punished. Oh, that's um, good. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Um, how do I make it bigger? Oh. Um, I appreciate the yeah. spelling of lens. I'm just gonna mess up this background because there's it's all going wrong. Um, how do you think you make it bigger? Is it here? 
Oh, stamp size. I'm literally a mini. Let's give it a circle. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> this one I want to. This one I want to do like black and white, scary. Yeah. <laughs> cool. I, that was fun. Um, um. Oh yeah, that one's a lot uh, more fun to watch you use than me with uh, zoom lag. And then uh, I'm on running ink, and then let's try this one. Oh wow, it's got definitely got a fade on it. And then I think like we definitely need Illuminati. Should we make uh, a yeah. password? instead of academy um i'm gonna let you spell i'm gonna let, make you type spell in spell the word illuminati oh hang on there's a thing called rainbow paint yeah um let's let's get a proper rainbow going all right let me just Oh yeah. Okay. Cool. Actually, to be fair, I think I did it wrong. <laughs> okay. And then let's bump this up, and then we'll just do a little eyeball. Oh, yeah. There we go. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. You read my mind. I would have killed for this as a kid. <laughs> I would have made like not like I would I would have made serious publications and like left them around the house. I would have written small books. I would have been like, ah, oh, this is publishing and I I I will I I will be an author. It's crying because it's got a bad review. All right, um, and then we're just gonna, oh, it's a ripple. I was really hoping there was a, a goldfish. Yeah, I gather um, somebody in chat earlier had mentioned that they're pretty sure that Natalie Law had made like a little desktop fish. And you know, there's no shortage of desktop fish swimming around the background of this. And even there's a weird fish pun when you boot the game up that says it's made in like macromedia fish. Um, so I Isn't gather that there's a fish affinity. I wanted to see what that looked like. <laughs> now I just want to play. Um, all right. Well, we still got, we still got the cover. We still got the, oh, Here, yeah. let me do it. <laughs> no, I feel like you just, it's your turn to, it's your turn to get busted on the typo, right? Well, how do you think Illuminati is spelled? No, I'm sorry. That's mean. All right, I want this big. Like, and very, like, I want it, I want this to be this, uh, what's your, I want a scary font. I want, like, I, yeah, that's the only thing I wish you could search one. Because, like, again, I have a problem. Yeah, you do. I know, I'm looking for a just, I feel like there was like a cracked that like. Oh yeah, cracked. yeah, we liked cracked. In the seas. Oh, broken ghost. Go up to broken ghost. That okay. one's crazy. <laughs> oh, hold on, wait. Sorry, sorry, leg. There you go. The caps. Broken ghost. There you go. There, there you, you go. go. There you go. There you go. Um. All right. Hold on, wait. I'm gonna redo this actually, because I want it all in caps in that case. Did I spell it right? I spelled it. But nice try. 
I typed that. No, but I, the earlier one wasn't spelled right. We'll never know now. No, I typed both of them. I thought I typed No. It. Nope. That was me. Oh, nice I typed try. it. Nice I try. I definitely typed. Don't. St- nice try. Okay, this page looks to me like it looks to me like the kids menu at a Mexican restaurant in 1988. Is the uh, the yellow and, and the, yeah, uh-huh. The dark reddish brown. But we're going to we were going to give this a uh we were going to give this a we were going to give this an image treatment, right? Yeah, go for it. Oh, well, that works. <laughs> I feel like we're done in one, right? I mean, you. I think I want to... What's... It's even creepier. It's... Oh, all those look good. I kind of, like, love the high contrast of the first one. Me too. Me too. It, it, it definitely... I mean, it... All right, so here's the thing. Um, it undoes all of our lovely rainbow brush work, but on the other hand... Um, people yeah. saw it. They appreciated it. Yeah, it's we'll know it's there. All right, yeah, I'm ignoring everything in chat with puns because um, I do. That's that's too many puns. No, let me see. Wait, wait. Nope. <laughs> um, cool. All right, done. Done. Okay, I'll accept that. Actually, you know what? Hang on. Nope, one shit. Second. I'm sorry. No, it's good. We're good. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go back and do the rainbow paint and I'm just gonna color in the eye oh okay there you go there you go there you go oh that's so good um and then the tears as well which is like we'll do a pop of color boy Marcy now you're just adding color to it again fine just really excited about. <laughs> I'm excited. It's like, oh hey, I've got this like really tight palette. And you're like, it doesn't have colors in it. Okay. Well, we are <laughs> at the back, and we have the the front. Yes. Yes, we do. So um, do you want to do first? I feel like back. Back, yeah. We've already given ourselves credit, so that's a page that we don't. Yeah. Um, so is this like a classy zine? That's like there's not like. The... <laughs> is this a classy zine? No, it's not. <laughs> there's nothing classy about. I mean, it. is it like is it a classy binding? Like, is it mostly like, you know, black on both sides with just a little bit? Like, there's not a lot of content on the outside, so that you have to open to find it. Or are we jamming this thing with as much like? Um truth as we can ferret out and get to the hands of the people i don't know um like are they are these secrets not for your grandma like no i i well i don't have that many conspiracies left i was just going to complain about um the snowman on my island right now <laughs> on the last page oh right yes so everyone who doesn't know um which is everyone <laughs> Marcy, when asked where she lived, um, trollishly chose the southern continent. No, I didn't. I, it said, are you, where are you from? It was like, you're on the northern continent. And I was like, yeah. And they're like, we suggest you pick an island on the northern continent. I was like, nah, I don't want that. So it's winter on, it's July, but it's winter on your island right now. Yes, it is winter on my island. Um, and so there are these, um, so everyone else will realize in a few months that there are these really, there's these snowballs you can use to make snowmen, but um, they are really a piece of work um, because they're never happy with, uh, so you, you roll them up and if you get it wrong, they complain for the next three days about how they're abominations and like they're just don't feel right. And they're like, I'm, you built me wrong. 
and they won't give you any cool snow DIY recipes. And they're like, there's like, they're just very, everything must be uniform and perfect and the same. And like, they don't really allow for any variety of snowmen. Like if you make the head too big or too small, um, they're like, you know, I'm awful. I, I, something's I don't wrong, feel you know? right. One of them was just like, I visited your island and it wanted to talk to me about how you had made it. Yeah, and I just want to be like, you know, accept snowman body diversity, you little whiners. Um, what's worse is, all right, so this one right here, like, where he's mid-melt. I also mm -hmm. spoke to one of your snowmen who was mid-melt. Um, I knew you were going to sneak teal into this. Um, um, so he, and he was like, I am so happy to be melting um, I can't remember exactly what he said, but he definitely like was like, I am fulfilling my destiny. Uh, the melt has begun and soon I shall be free. I mean, they don't say that, but they, they, they yeah, uh huh. But I like that. Yes, yeah, soon I will be free. Um. Okay, here. All right. Gosh, I really am too good at this conspiracy theory thing. I'm going to get myself checked later. Um, Illuminati people and conspiracy people thing are always, like, really, really, really obsessed with, like, proportions and things. Like, you know, there are certain ratios and there are all this sort of, like, like is it possible that the snowmen are complaining about their proportions, not for a body image reason or whatever, but because there is, like, a golden perfect ratio that, like, is important to... Ooh, the suddenly... Happy Home Academy. Yeah. I want an eyedropper tool. Okay, now I'm complaining. Um, I'm complaining. It's a, this game is still in development. This is a uh, this is a debug. I used to work in QA, so this is a, an enhancement bug. Um, it would be cool to have an eyedropper tool, and Natalie is free to say as is. Get bent. You try to do this. Marty, it's fine. No, no, I'm impressed. I was like, "What is she doing?" So I think you, you're, I think you got your money's worth on that degree. <laughs> yep, definitely. That's... My degree's in film production, so we're. I'm I'm currently operating a live switcher, so I guess we got something there. Here's me making television. All right, it's the toaster. A cute burn tool to toast your art. Oh, just like, ooh, nice, cool. Now he pops out a little nice, bit. Nice, nice, nice. Um, I just realized what I see here. Um, yeah. There is an eyedropper. It's the little teardrop next to the grayscale. Oh, cool. Well, I, I think I solved it by, um, okay. So in fact, this isn't even as is Natalie could have written back, got a bug. <laughs> it's right there. Uh, in our defense, apparently the dropper isn't on all the screens where you can select a color. Rainbows. Um, I'm, I hang on. I'm, 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 I'm fine. I'm, no, it's okay. Oh, you're just, yeah, you're just a, a, a bunch of teals. I see what you're doing. Um, okay, yeah. And then we're just gonna... Yeah. Cool, you made a trapper keeper. Oh, it's like a radial. Cool. There we go. That's what I wanted. Okay. I feel like this is good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is the last page. And he's like, he's done. He's melted. Uh-huh. Um, here, let's... Uh, how do I close this? Um, and then I think I'll just do, just do something. Let's see what looks good. I like that because of what you've done with this particular image, like when you throw it to VGA, now it starts to look an awful lot like 
high quality graphics from my youth. Yeah. I like this one. Yay. All right. So we only have one more page. Let's do a zine break and then let's do the final okay, page. Okay, cool. Great. Yeah, yeah. All right. One last, uh, one last zine break for the ages, huh? Um, I'm not going to run the graphic because it's having a, it's having a, it's having a time. Okay, that's fine because I can just bring this over. Um, so I'm also, this is another review scene. Um, oh, which nice. Comfy channels. Here, let's zoom in a little. Um, to relax and go to bed zine. Um, presented by Kana, Connor and Bella. A creation of our favorite YouTube channels that we like to watch before heading to bed. Um, which I'm all about. Um, because I watch a lot of YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Peaceful Cuisine has sweet pastries and coffees, uh, cooking tree. Oh, this is all the different types of cooking, um, like cooking show ones. Treats so pristine and flawless that you swear it was CGI, but no, it's just tasty with lots of ASMR. Oh, that looks good. I didn't know that this was a thing. Yeah, no, I love this. That looks like, actually, um, yeah. Oh, yes, I forgot this was on here. Um, <gasps> I love Jelly's Marble Run. I want to be like, I don't want to be a hipster about it, but I was definitely watching Marble Runs before quarantine happened. Oh, yeah, no, you showed me. You showed me the Olympics. Yeah. And you made me pick a marble at the beginning yeah. before we knew anything, and then we rooted for them the whole time, and it was exhilarating. You went for the hazers, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, they almost, they almost, they almost made it. No, I'm I'm team snowball all the way. Um, but yeah, no, it's so good. It's so beautifully done, and it's like the people who make it are just amazing. Um, oh, and then Connor roots for the snowballs too. Yes, I'm a snowball fan. Um, yes, this is I love Jelly's Marble Run. It's so good, and we I love a that Green it's Ducks fan in the chat. Um, yeah, no, uh, just watch out for limers. They're the ones who always like riot and go on like like mm -hmm. <laughs> they, the marbles have like little riots. Um, but yeah, it's really good. It's really good. I will never forget Mama Mama's injury in 2017. Hashtag prayer for Mama Mama Mama. Um, uh, Sim TV, man builds cardboard world for his hamsters. The brave ones are put through many trials to eat mealworms and other snacks. It sounds amazing. Um, look how detailed that little, like, oh, it's like a prison. Is it a prison with a little phone? Uh, yes, it is. It is. They are having a... Oh, the bathroom. I'm going to say it's a bathroom. I don't want to think about like a little hamster prison jail. But either way, it's amazing. Oh, yeah, you might. You're right. You're right. The, those, that might be like a little shower head or something. But it definitely did seem for a minute like, I'm going to be in here for a long time. I want you to, It's okay. You can move on. <laughs> um, That's really cool. And so it's got some ASMR noms on it. So it's exciting. Ooh, um, and this is another one. I'm uh, obsessed with this stuff used to build for hamsters but then they create anything you can imagine very tiny they also do lots of paper crafts and their realistic mini food is very realistic i love as one of my instagram deep dives is tiny food so that's really good i will check that out um and dao she's i said that right uh culinary idol this guy has to make all the equipment every time he cooks it's really cool but it must be tough a very skilled craftsman sometimes i forget he cooks something at the end Wow. Step one, make stone bowl. Step two, cook. Ooh. Um, that's actually because like one of the things I used to like to watch is machining videos, um, which are also very soothing to watch right before bed. Um, but yeah, no, agreed. Oh, and I've heard about this one. Um, the day in the life of a picturesque farmer, they raise chickens, grow seasonal crops, and cook delicious feasts. That looks beautiful. Yeah. I'm so hungry. Um, honorable mention for Bella, Grandpa Amu, um, talented craftsman who makes videos for his grandson. Oh, and they have a playlist. So this is, again, really super useful. Um, so yeah, thanks, uh, Connor and Bella. That one's awesome. Um, yeah. All right, one more? Yeah, let's have a... Uh... Let's uh let's have one more. All right. Um Oh yes. Uh, this one's at the bottom. It don't, you don't see anything. We're just gonna do uh sociopaths of industry. 
Uh, volume. volume 243, the 1920s, number 52, leaded gasoline. Um, imagine a world where human well-being comes before corporate profits. Doesn't sound realistic. Don't subscribe to that. Uh, with care instead of competition, with artistic expression as our goal, not exploitation. Community instead of consumption. Who's in the way? Sociopathic industry. Um, do you want to read this one? Yeah, Thomas Midgley Jr. working at General Motors in 1921, Thomas Midgley Jr. identified tetrahedral lead as a fuel and additive that could stop engine knocking. It was put into gasoline for over 50 years. Midgley discovered that ethanol was just as effective as an additive, but that this was rejected and covered up. You can't patent grain alcohol. After five workers died at the newly opened lead plant, Midgley held a press conference. He poured lead over his hands and breathed in the fumes, telling the press he could do this every day. But Midgley himself had just suffered from several uh, severe lead poisoning, taking weeks off from work. Jesus. While employed in the Frigidaire Division of General Motors, Midgley was tasked with finding a new chemical refrigerant. It's the same guy? A substance that moves heat as it's compressed and expanded within the coils of a refrigerator. When Midgley first used CFCs as a refrigerant, they were lauded for their relative non-toxicity, non-flammability, and inertness. He used Swartz process to make the CFCs, and beautiful fluorite minerals were mined to provide the source of fluorine. The use of CFCs in air conditioners followed soon after, and the popularity of these products led to the massive increase of CFC synthesis during the mid-20th century. They caused the hole in the ozone layer discovered in the 1980s and are now completely banned. Yes. Workers in the tetrahedral lead factory in Elizabeth, New Jersey, reported seeing butterflies when they suffered from lead-induced hallucinations. So in, in, in addition to this being like a lot of really good text, and everybody in chat's losing their mind because we're all learning something here, so uh, games uh, can teach you things. Um, but also, like, this is beautiful. Oh, yeah. God. You don't have to read this. But no, it's just but yeah, crazy. it's just... The, the environmentalism the final like uh-huh catalytic converters which are put on cars to reduce air pollution cannot work effectively with leaded gasoline so that's the only reason it stopped because of catalytic converters um uh, which are apparently yeah. being stolen in my neighborhood yeah and people will steal batteries too so watch out um some have suggested the freeze and fall in crime rates um after the lead ban is also um because people weren't getting lead poisoned for over half a century, we put substances in the air that make people less peaceful and less intelligent. Yep. So I think that one's an impactful one to end on. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I mean, so there, there's your... It looked punk rock. It was beautiful, but also now you learned something. Um, yeah, let it bet. <laughs> and people don't care as long as it doesn't Turns affect their... Turns out. Turns out. There's a reason every time we drank from those McDonald's Garfield glasses, we were feeling a little meaner. Oh, gosh. Um, all right. Last one. This is our front page. This is a lot of pressure. I'm going to lean on you a little bit here. Okay. Um, hang on. Let me go back. What, we've got black. We've got yellow. We've got purple. Let's do, um, let's do something. Let's do something like normal for the front, I think. Right? Yeah. It's let me thank you like very innocuous like oh. so you okay. could leave this on somebody's front door and be like oh have you heard the news about the crossing yeah um i'm gonna use the same yeah this is our chance this is our chance to use some of those other brushes <laughs> Um, okay, we want linear, um, and then let's see how this, oopsies. Okay, there we go. Bigger. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'm just going to do like a normal animal crossing. Like everything is normal in Animal Crossing land. Okay. Um, oops. And then we're gonna, we're gonna use that same tree. Cause that's like ubiquitous. Uh -huh. And we're gonna, like yeah, the tree of knowledge. Tree of Animal Crossing knowledge. <laughs> um, yeah, here actually, um, I've got it. 
I've got us. Boom. Uh huh. Uh huh. All right. Yeah. Biblical. Uh huh. What do you think should be? Um. Like right, if, I'm really close. Like I'm gonna be like right here, like ready, like hanging. Uh huh. Tempting you to take it. Yes, that's good. Yes. Uh huh. That you have literally created low hanging fruit. Um, all right. So I worked I'm... for a dot com in the early, uh, um, in the early boom, and uh, that the phrase "low hanging fruit" was said way too much by the guy who uh, was swindling Nortel Networks out of all of their money. Okay, <laughs> um, okay. Here, hang on. Let me just cover that up a little. Um, and then I'm going to put some clouds in because they have clouds in Animal Crossing. <laughs> oh, somebody else has another Animal Crossing zine in progress, too. Um, really? Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> All right, I'm going to leave you in charge of the text. Um, okay, so, yeah, I mean, I feel like, um, okay, 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 here we go. Um, I need, like, a good, like, serif font. Um... Like we're having a lowercase truth. You have eight minutes left. <laughs> yeah, I know. We got it. We got it. We got it. Hold on, wait. Bookman, I think we'll do without having to scroll all the way to like Times New Roman. Yeah, that, that, that'll take too, way too long. Yes, I like it. Right, right, right here. And so then, and it's it's just this size. And it's just like. Yeah, excellent. There we that, go. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, that's it. That's it. That's it. This is perfect. So right. now the last thing that we're going to do on stream that I'm super, super, super excited for um, is uh, we're going to actually print this bad boy yeah here. oh yeah i see yeah i see what you I, no, see I, what, I like this one i see what you've done yeah that's good okay cool so um first of all let's that's a joy let's save it as ac through zone and then um yeah let's print it um okay letter yeah do it all right i'm gonna go you're going to go print it. And while you print, I'm going to take this opportunity one more time to do one more like little like station identifier here. So yeah, um, if you've been enjoying this stream, uh, this is part of the Indicate Summer Series. And uh, we're streaming all summer long, uh, a wide variety of game makers and friends of Indicate. Um, and it's all leading up to um, Indiecade's like flagship fall festival, which because of uh, coronavirus and social distancing um, is going to be anywhere and everywhere that you are. That's where Indiecade is going to be. Um, so it'll be nine full days of 24 hour programming uh, for the 2020 online festival. Um, so October 16th through the 24th, it's going to be on these platforms and probably more by the time uh, October rolls around, just because I, I sort of know how that um the the pace of online digital platforms in the face of there not being fall television um we're probably going to be on like six new things that don't have aren't real words by then um it's going to be a lot of fun um and in the meantime indicade is on uh twitch all summer long so on wednesdays and on sundays you can um you can you can catch us on this channel and uh they'll be streaming a, a lot of different games uh so they'll be back sunday and then uh the fall this wednesday from or every wednesday from 11 to 2 pacific 
11 to 1 Pacific, um, 2 to 4 Eastern, uh, you can catch more of this great, great stuff. And Marcy and I are so pumped that uh, we got to do this. This has been a lot of fun. It's been great. One of the things I really like about being part of the IndieCade alumni, like I said on Twitter, is lately, like, IndieCade's been great about making me feel like a real, like, member of the community. Like, we make a lot of games, and we really enjoy going to the festivals, and uh, either we when we're showing stuff or when we're just checking out other people's cool stuff. But this has been this has been a lot of fun, so um, it's nice to see you all here and uh, tell your friends. Um, right. Okay, Marcy. I'm gonna stop sharing this and I'm gonna show you how to fold a zine. Yeah. Okay. Good, because I did this at Indicate Paris and I had some trouble. I had to be. I think. I think it's possible that Natalie had to assist me. So I, I can't see what's going on now, but um, let me. Nope. Yep. Yeah, no. We've 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 changed. So here we are. This is us. Doop, doop, doop. All right. So we're going to point this down. We got this sucker right here. I've um, already done a little fold on it. Um, the secret trick is, doop, doop, let's do that. I will stab myself. It's cool. It's cool. You got to cut essentially. What? Sorcery. Once you've got that, then it's essentially you're making, I think, kind of do the fold like this. Uh huh. And then like that. Then it's like this. So. Bananas. Look at that. Um, I think I did it wrong because it's, no, it's right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's our front, there's our front cover. Look. The truth. Um, I didn't do the best fold job, but it's cool. So here's the uh, the uh, about us page. Uh huh. Flip it around. Flip it around. I know that. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Okay. Yeah. So here we go. Truth. Um, we got Anjou, um, and then we've got our page about the glitches. Uh huh. Um, the wisp and the conspiracy about uh, him stealing souls in the forest, our aliens, and how Isabella is probably an alien, and yeah. no presents that are being delivered. Um, we've got our conspiracy about Nintendo shutting down how to how to make infinite bells and the glitch. Um, and we've got our big one, which is that the happy home. Yeah, Illuminati. And then our final page, which is the snowman. Snowman. So look at that. So now you and I are published authors. <laughs> yeah, that's how it works. It's available on Amazon, Kindle. I was speaking of Nintendo doing cease and desist, I think that would that would <laughs> that would constitute that pretty fast. Um, but yeah, so I think that's it. Um, check out uh, again the Indicate Festival. Check out um, Natalie's game, Electronic Scene Maker. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. No. Um, so yeah, I think just like one more time uh, here. Let's just uh, you can download it. Um, it's a lot of fun, and do remember to um, do remember to tag Natalie if you share this stuff on Twitter, so that. Uh, um, you can get the extra boost and um if you made if you were inspired by um anything you saw here um maybe don't share it with us because <laughs> <Just, laughs> uh clearly we'll go down quite a rabbit hole um and i think we probably have to get back to our jobs um at some point here uh but do also check out the rest of the 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 jam and i think uh, uh willa will probably um post the the jam link one more time so you can see um, all of the all of the zines that were made um, by other people that don't have as much truth maybe inside of them as ours. But, <laughs> yeah, no. But we're aware of maybe some of the other content creation tools uh, <laughs> before the final two pages of the zine. Um, and yeah, maybe I'll post this up online too. So yes, like, yes. Well, I need a copy. Out. I need a copy because I I've only got a black and white printer. So even more zine. Uh huh. You'll have to mail that to me. <laughs> um all right well this is awesome thanks um great me. yeah so thanks everybody for let's come back to it sorry um one more time i'm just gonna do this because i forgot that uh when we uh we cut away then uh you can't talk anymore um so yeah do thank you everybody for watching it has been uh a hoot and a half um and uh, 
see you on Indiecade next time. Uh, stay safe out there. Have fun. Uh, much love. Bye-bye.